Crimson, what are you doing? Well, if you must know, I'm working on an AI program. What's an AI program? <sighs> Artificial intelligence is a type of computer program. I'm using a system of neural nets and simulated loops to hopefully make this computer aware of itself. To gain sentience. Is it like sentience that uh, mouthwash I use all the time? That's not your mouthwash, Kadoodle. I don't know what you're talking about. Crimson, is there any way that this artificial intelligence can help me at Taco Bell? When it's done, it'll be able to run all the Taco Bells in the universe. How far along are you in programming this thingy? I've still got a lot of work to do, but it's been a long day debugging, and I'm going to bed now. Okay, sweet dreams. Maybe just push a button here, here, click on that. What's this? I wonder where this doohickey goes. Hmm, this is one crazy mystery we got here. Where do I put this thing? Hmm, I think I know. Uh, there's, I saw a slat on the vacuum bot that this will fit in. Maybe the vacuum bot's hungry. Maybe it eats these. Have I been starving the vacuum bot? Here you go, vacuum bot old friend. Greetings, Cadoodle. I am vacuum bot 2.0. I am here to assist you in your endeavors. Hello, vacuum bot. I've never been able to talk to you before. I am newly self-aware thanks to your upgrading my software with the USB drive you inserted. So you don't eat those? I do not eat USB data. I have no need of sustenance as humans do in order to survive. I'd ev I don't even know what that means, but I don't really care. I've got a talking vacuum bot. How can I assist you, Cadoodle? What can you do? I have many functions. For example, I can assist with communications, complex engineering, nanotechnology, and defense. With my recursive learning protocols and access to most electronic devices and networks, there are no limits to my capabilities. Can you clean the floor? Of course. I am happy to assist with this task. This is a song that goes out to a girl I once knew.
Sadly, it's time for Kadoodle's moment of madness. More I have no idea why I'm letting you do this. More enthusiasm. <sighs> it's time for Kadoodle's moment of madness. I still have no idea why I'm letting him do this. Today, today's moment. Today's moment of madness is woolen socks, yay or nay? In my eyes, woolen socks are a yay. I mean, aren't all socks pretty much woolen? I mean, they're made of thread and threads close to wool. I, I haven't thought this through. Uh, then again, none of these um, moments of madness are madnesses are thought through, are, are they? I, I mean... <sighs> a anyways, the thing is, um... Uh, you can fill woolen socks with guacamole and it doesn't spill out. Speaking of guacamole, uh, you gotta wait. Uh, guacamoles have tough skin, so you don't wanna brew, so you don't wanna, um, so you don't wanna, uh, peel them off yourself. Get your, fr get your friendly neighborhood crimson to peel it. And make sure he doesn't bruise the guacamole. Kadoodle, guacamole doesn't have skin. Guacamole ha guacamoles have skin. Are you talking about avocados by any chance? No, I'm not talking about uh, avocados. I'm talking about guacamoles. Guacamole isn't a vegetable or a fruit for that matter. Get back to your moment of madness. Anyways. Kadoodle, your moment is almost up. And that's why I want to talk about how stupid this moment of madness is. Wait, wait, do you hear that? For once, I'm actually happy to hear that noise. Crimson and Kadoodle, they're messing with my noodle. They keep saying things I don't understand. I'll tell you what's messing with my noodle this week. It's mine. Recently, I was on a stroll to town, dropping off the steamroller with the construction crew who rents it. And on my way there, I noticed this this man trapped in a box and he was void of color so I thought well this must be a terrible black and white trap so I tried to help him and he got real mad and so I said look generic clown I can't understand what you're saying if you don't use words and well come to find that he would never use words because he is what they call a mime and not a generic clown so I I made my way, and I thought deeply about a person that could make objects with their mind that you can't see. And I think it has of little value to our world. Because communication is critical. And fake boxes and ropes aren't communication. So, that's what's been messing with my noodle. Well, th thank you for that shea butter and Good luck with your travels. Well, I'm sure we'll be seeing him again. Hey everybody, we really enjoy making Crips and Ink Doodle. Um, we hope you really like this video. Um, hit the subscribe and like bell if you enjoyed this video. Also, hit the notification bell if you want to get notified about Crips and Ink, about new Crips and Ink Doodle videos. Once upon a time, a girl with moonlight in her eyes put her hand in mine and said she loved me so. But that was once upon a time, very long ago. Once upon a hill oh, sat beneath a willow tree Counting all the stars And river the dawn But that was once upon a time 
Now the tree is gone. Squirrel Science.